Once again welcome back to Math Revision Made Meticulous video series Day 7 Integration of Particular Functions Revision as the name suggests means looking back over previously learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind. 5 questions per day from selected topic is presented at this video series. The steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answer. In day 7, we will see integrals of the form integral px plus q by ax square plus bx plus c. How to remember it? Numerator, linear factor, denominator, quadratic factor. Numerator, linear polynomial or whatever may be. Denominator is a quadratic polynomial. What you have to do here, we are going to write the numerator that is the linear factor is equal to k into d by dx of the quadratic factor plus L. Px plus q is equal to k into d by dx of ax square plus bx plus c plus L. Now, here we have introduced two constants k and L. We will evaluate them. Then you split the integral into two. All of you know there are two terms are there. Our first term by the denominator plus second term by the denominator. Then, here th there are two integrals will be there. We have to integrate both of them. But the first integral will be such that the numerator will contain the differentiation of the denominator as we have framed like that only therefore it is log of the denominator the second integral is evaluated using the type which you have already seen that is 1 upon a quadratic factor let us recollect numerator is a linear factor denominator is a quadratic factor px plus q is equal to therefore numerator linear factor is equal to k into d by dx of the quadratic factor plus L. Linear polynomial is equal to k into d by dx of the quadratic polynomial plus L. Then you have to evaluate k and L. Spread the integral into two. First integral will be always k into log of the denominator because the numerator contains the differentiation of the denominator. The second one can be done by already we have seen that how to do it when it is a quadratic factor in the denominator. Well, let us take a problem now. Numerator x plus 2, denominator x square plus 2x plus 3. Now we have to put x plus 2 as k into differentiation of x square plus 2x plus 3 plus L. For x plus 2 is equal to k into differentiation of x square plus 2x plus 3 is 2x plus 2 plus L. To evaluate k and L what we will do is we will collect x term and constant term separately. It is the easiest way to do. Otherwise you can put the value of x. You can take the value of x as 0, 1, 2, 3 and you can evaluate also. But this will be very easy. Right hand side, collect the x, x coefficient that is 2kx. What are constants? That is without containing x, it is 2k plus l. Now you equate the x coefficient now, denom left hand side 1, right hand side 2k. Therefore, k is equal to 1 by 2. Now you equate the constants 2 is in the left hand side, 2k plus l is the right hand side. Already we have uh, k as 1 by 2. Therefore, 2 into 1 by 2 is 1. 1 plus l is 2. Therefore, L is equal to 1. For evaluating K and L is very very important because it is going to decide the answer. For be careful while you are evaluating K and L. Now, I have evaluated K and L. For I am writing X plus 2 as half into 2X plus 2 plus 1. Now, all of you can uh, check here whether K and L are correct. The left hand side and right hand side should be equal. Half into 2X is X. It is there in the left hand side. Half into 2 is 1. Therefore, 1 plus 1 is 2 that is also in the left hand side. For left hand side and right hand sides are equal. For here you can have a check out whether your uh, k and l are correct. Well, now I am putting the numerator now half into 2x plus 2 plus 1. Now what is the next step? We have to split the integral into 2 half into 2x plus 2 by the denominator plus 1 upon the denominator into dx. Now already we have discussed the first integral will be always log of the denominator. No need to do it by means of substitution. If you do substitution also, you are going to get dt by t, or it is log t, plus half plus 1 upon x square plus 2x plus 3. Now, this 1 upon x square plus 2x plus 3, all of you know how to do it. x square plus 2 should be written as x plus 1 the whole square minus 1. Therefore, it is x plus 1 the whole square minus 1 plus 3, which is nothing but x plus 1 the whole square plus 2. All of you know that 2 should be written as something the whole square, therefore root 2 the whole square. Which formula to be applied here? a square plus x square formula to be applied. It is 1 by a tan inverse x by a 
in place of a you are having root 2 and in place of x you are having x plus 1 for our problem is over for half into log x square plus 2x plus 3 plus 1 by root 2 into tan inverse x plus 1 by root 2 plus c let us move on to the next problem where the coefficient of x square is other than 1 here there is no need to take the coefficient of x square outside in the beginning let us directly start the numerator is equal to k into differentiation of the denominator plus l k into d by dx of the quadratic factor plus l ok it is 4x plus 1 is k into 4x plus 2 plus l therefore 4x plus 1 is 4kx plus 2k plus l that is a constant and the coefficient of x are separated if you equate the coefficients x coefficient left hand side it is 4 right hand side is 4k therefore k is equal to 1 when you equate the constant left hand side it is 1 right hand side it is 2k plus l therefore 1 is equal to 2 plus l therefore l is equal to minus 1 l is equal to minus 1 for now let us check the values of k and l now 4x plus 1 is equal to 4x plus 2 minus 1 for when you expand the right hand side you will get back 4x plus 1 therefore LHS is equal to RHS therefore your k and l are correct now let us put it in the integral now it is 1 into 4x plus 2 minus 1 upon the denominator split it into 2 4x plus 2 by quadratic factor plus minus 1 upon the quadratic factor into dx what will be the value of the first one always log of the denominator minus integral dx upon 2x square plus 2x minus 3 to evaluate the second integral we have to take 2 outside let us take 2 outside dx upon x square plus x minus 3 by 2 let us continue now how to write this x square plus x x plus coefficient of x by 2 that is 1 by 2 the whole square minus square of 1 by 2 1 by 4 put it in the integral now it is minus 1 by 2 into dx upon x plus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 4 minus 3 by 2 now we can take that minus sign outside it is 1 by 4 plus 3 by 2 1 by 4 plus 3 by 2 is 7 by 4 by taking 4 as the LCM 1 plus 67 now all of you know whenever you are uh, let us continue now we got log of 2x square plus 2x minus 3 minus 1 by 2 into dx upon x plus 1, 1 by 2 the whole square minus 7 by 4 normally this 7 by 4 to be visualized as root 7 by 2 the whole square for the formula x square minus a square dx upon x square minus a square is 1 by 2a log log x minus a by x plus a in place of x we are having x plus 1 by 2 and in place of a you are having root 7 by 2 for when you cancel that 2 it will become 1 by roots 2 root 7 log of 2x plus 1 minus root 7 by 2x plus 1 plus root 7 let us move on to the next question where the numerator and denominator degree are equal you should be careful when the degree is equal or the numerator degree is uh, greater this come under improper fraction but we have to divide the numerator by denominator for it is 5x square to be divided by x square plus 4x plus 3 but we have to multiply it by 5 so that it will become 5x square plus 20x plus 15 when you do the subtraction it is minus 20x minus 15 we have put it in the form q plus r by d what is q plus r by d q is quotient r is the remainder and d is the divisor therefore it should be written as 5 plus minus 20x minus 15 by x square plus 4x plus 3 let us come back to putting it in q plus r by d form for when you want to do the integration you have to do the integration of the right hand side it is integral of 5 dx minus integral of 20x plus 15 by x square plus 4x plus 3 the integration of the first one is very simple we are directly writing it as 5x the second integral is of the form which we are discussing now numerator linear factor denominator quadratic for put it as k into d by numerator is equal to k into d by dx of denominator plus l it will become k into 2x plus 4 plus l for 20x plus 15 is 2kx plus 4k plus l by collecting the x term by collecting the constant term now what you have to do now we have to eliminate what is that k and l 
let us do now equate the coefficient of x it is 20 is equal to 2k over k is equal to 10 when you equate the constants it is 15 is equal to 4k plus l therefore 15 is equal to 40 plus l because k is 10 for l is equal to minus 25 therefore 2x plus 15 is equal to 10 into 2x plus 4 minus 25 when you expand the right hand side it is 20x okay 40 minus 25 is 15 therefore left hand side is equal to right hand side therefore we will put it like this 10 into 2x plus 4 minus 25 upon the denominator here we have to split the integral into two first integral is minus 10 into 2x plus 4 by the denominator plus 25 by x square plus 4x plus 3 in the denominator what will be the value of the first integral always? It will be log of the denominator. How to write the second integral? x square plus 4x is written as x plus 2 the whole square minus 4. Therefore, the constant will become 1. Therefore, integral dx upon x plus 2 the whole square minus 1. Which formula to be applied? x square minus a square. Formula is 1 by 2a log x minus a by x plus a. What is there in place of x? x plus 2. In place of a, we are having 1. Therefore, the final answer is 5x minus 10 log x square plus 4x plus 3 plus 25 by minus 25 by 2 log x plus 1 by x plus 3. Minus into minus will become plus. Therefore, plus 25 by 2 log x plus 1 by x plus 3. <coughs> We are moving to the question number 4, x cube upon x square plus 1. Here the numerator degree is 3, denominator degree is 2, therefore we have to divide. When you divide, multiply by x, it will become x cube plus x, therefore it is minus x. We have to put it in q plus r by d form. Quotient is x and the remainder is minus x by x square plus 1. And we are putting splitting the integral into two integral x dx plus integral minus x by x square plus one but the second one the numerator can be made as the di differentiation of the denominator what is the differentiation of x square plus one it is 2x for i multiplying and dividing by two for first term will be x square plus two second will be log of the denominator if the numerator contains the differentiation of the denominator it that integral is log of the denominator over here we are we have seen a improper integral we are converting it into a proper integral and we are integrating let us move on to question number 5 where sin 2 theta by sin square theta plus sin theta plus 1 sin theta can be written as 2 sin theta cos theta now do the substitution now x is equal to sin theta dx is cos theta d theta therefore the numerator will become x dx by denominator will become x square plus x plus 1 by replacing sin theta by x and cos theta d theta by dx. Now it is a numerator is a linear factor, denominator is a quadratic factor. Put x is equal to k into differentiation of the denominator plus l. It is k into 2x plus 1 plus l. For x is equal to 2kx plus k plus l by collecting the x coefficient and constant term. Now we equate the x coefficient. Left hand side x coefficient is 1. Therefore, k is equal to 1 by 2. 1 is equal to 2k. Therefore, k is equal to 1 by 2. The right hand side, when you equate the constant, left hand side no constant, therefore 0. For k plus l, for 0 is equal to half plus l. Therefore, l is equal to minus half. For we got k is equal to 1 by 2 and l is equal to minus half. Therefore, x is equal to k into 2x plus 1 plus l. And x is equal to half into 2x plus 1 minus 1 by 2. Let us check half into 2x is x, half plus minus half is uh, 0, therefore x is equal to x. We we'll put it in the integral sign now, half into 2x plus 1 minus half by x square plus x plus 1, or half into first term by the denominator, minus 1 by 2, second term by the denominator. All of you know, first term is always log of the denominator, because numerator contains differentiation of the denominator, minus half into the dx by a quadratic factor. Then how to tackle that? We all of, all of us know that x square plus x should be written as x plus 1 by 2 the whole square minus 1 by 4. Put it there inside the integral sign. 1 minus 1 by 4 is 3 by 4. 
Now on the right hand side we should convert that 3 by 4 into root 3 by 2 the whole square. We are converting it into the form x square plus a square. Now we got this now. What we have to do now we have to apply the formula a square plus x square formula. It is 1 by a tan inverse x by a. In place of a you are having root 3 by 2 therefore 1 by root 3 by 2 tan inverse x by a in place of x you are having x plus 1 by 2 by a root 3 by 2 by cancelling 2 and 2 and then writing that uh, x plus 1 by 2 as 2x plus 1 by root 3 you got the answer but now this is not the final answer because we have done it by means of substitution we have to do the resubstitution wherever x comes replace it by sin theta success is dependent on efforts all the best. Thank you.